We often see patients who got pregnant after IVF, whose doctor keeps on repeating HCG levels even after six weeks and seven weeks and eight weeks. And honestly, I don't understand at all why. An HCG level is a biochemical marker of pregnancy and it's extremely useful for very early pregnancies. And this is when you missed your period or in the first five weeks where it's too early to actually pick up a pregnancy on an ultrasound scan because the pregnancy sac itself is so small. But the HCG is much more sensitive, which is why it's important to track HCG levels. And at least in the first one week, you can make sure the pregnancy is healthy by making sure that the levels are rising well. But once the HCG is crossed 1000 milli international units per ml, you do an ultrasound scan and you can see a sac in the uterus. There's no point in doing the HCG levels anymore because the ultrasound will give us much more valuable information. Because remember, the HCG is just a blood marker and it's produced by the placenta or the trophectoderm. Whereas what the patient wants is a baby which comes from the inner cell mass. So as long as the pregnancy is going well and your everything's fine on the ultrasound scan, please don't waste money doing HCG levels. On the other hand, if there is a problem in the ultrasound scans, and especially if you're bleeding or you can't see anything clearly, then an HCG can provide you with valuable information. So for example, if the HCG levels were rising, you start bleeding and the HCG levels drop, that suggests that you have miscarried. And if you're bleeding but the HCG levels are rising, then that's reassuring that your pregnancy is healthy. But after six weeks, an ultrasound is far more valuable than just an HCG level. Please keep this in mind. And if your doctor wants to do unnecessary blood tests for you, you need to learn to be able to push back and say no, because it's no fun doing unnecessary tests which don't provide any useful information at all.